Só não vou falar. Let's go, baby! What's up? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunday with Ola 164. What's up? It's the 27th of November. Holy shit, November is almost over. Now, Christmas is getting closer and closer. Have you bought any gifts yet for me? Well, it's time. If you want to buy gifts for me right now, you know, and have it sent to me so they're arrived before Christmas, it's time right now. No, but if you have not yourself bought gifts for your loved ones, I recommend going to OlaEnglandShop.com See? Plugging myself immediately Also, shit, plugging in more assholes today The Solar Guitars Black Sabbath Last couple of days right now Today and Monday So, you know, absolute last chance To get a really, really sick-ass Black Sabbath deal SolarGuitars.com I actually myself made a little bit of a purchase on Black Friday I bought a new coffee machine for the office and for the employees Oh, good guy Ola, thinking about his employees Oh, it was a really good machine. It was an espresso maker. You click on one button and it's like <laughs> Coffee done in there. Okay, it's actually pretty good. I'm very stoked about that. It's a Siemens. Okay Yeah, I know you guys would like ask. Okay. Well, was it a DeLonghi or was it a, a, a Jura or was it an espresso? No Siemens. Anyways, I'm truly excited for today. Let's head into the news. And even though I'm super excited to head into the news Unfortunately, there aren't really that much news But don't be afraid We're gonna check out the current news And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about an underground band or some underground bands And a game as well uh, Don't worry, uh, don't worry guys, it's gonna, there's gonna be content <laughs> So a couple of weeks back I reported that Kiko Lorero took a break from Megadeth And in on the steed comes Temumentisari of Winter Sun And he basically handles the job as the second guitar player for Megadeth With ease Holy shit, what an amazing guitar player But it seems that Kiko's leave is about to become longer than anticipated Because now Kiko released a statement Basically thanking Dave and Megadeth for, for the time uh, this, These past couple of years Saying that it's an extended leave so it's a little bit confusing with Kiko's statement. There's a lot that is not being told, you know, I would say. And then Megadeth or Dave released a statement that goes like this. Hey Droogies, last week I received a call from my partner Kiko and we spoke for a while. I asked him how things were going regarding the important issues that led to his absence from our previous run, which was necessary for him to be with his family. I want to update you now on what Kiko shared with me. But before I do, I want you to know that I love, respect and fully support Kiko's decision Okay, there's a decision. He has emphasized his love for me, Megadeth, and all your, uh, all of you are fans. As a reminder, Kiko had to leave the tour last August to handle some very important and private family business. He was conflicted but appreciative when I told him that he needed to go uh, to take care of his family. He agreed but was still concerned about us, meaning the fans, and Megadeth. I told him at the time, go Kiko, go. Go home, take care of your family You can never regain this time with your family I know firsthand, I paid the price myself Eventually, he agreed Kiko is a top-notch professional, a maestro And he did not want to hurt me or Megadeth We came up with a solution to find a fill-in for him during the time And that's when he presented Train Temimentisari In the beginning, this was only going to be until the first week of October However, things rarely turn out the way that it was planned Getting to the point, we had many conversations with Kiko about this And Kiko is going to remain on an extended leave of absence Due to our heavy touring commitments next year And we're going to continue to move forward with Tim and Mentesar as the guitar player for Megadeth I would like to thank Kiko for his dedication and hard work these past 9 years Helping us to achieve a Grammy on Dystopia and the additional... 
Okay, this is the thing, right? They're talking about an extended leave. At that point, you know, that would be enough for a lot of people and for a statement. You know, oh, he's going on leave. Okay, you know, whenever he's ready to come back, he's going to come back. Amazing. But the part where they're like thanking, you know, I would like to thank Hiko for his dedication and hard work these past nine years, helping us to achieve a Grammy on Dystopia and the additional awards he has received on his latest record. I could not have done this without Kiko Loriero. Uh, that makes it sound like he's out of the band, basically. And the same thing with Kiko's statement. It sounds like he's leaving the band. So it's very conflicting, like what they're actually <laughs> meaning with these statements. But, uh, you know, personally, I think that this is it for Kiko. He's not in the band anymore. And I have a slight suspicion uh, about this. In the past year, Megadeth did bring in uh, for a couple of shows, Marty Freeman, right? Marty came back to play a couple of shows with Megadeth and, you know, he was really excited about playing in Megadeth. I think, personally, this is just a guess, Old England's guess, is that Marty Freeman, he expressed his will to rejoin the band. And I think that he might do so. I think that Marty might join the band. I think that Kiko is in a very weird situation where it's like, okay, you know, Marty Freeman might come back. Why should I keep on doing this until then? In a way of making this as clean as possible, this is how they resort to this, basically. So Kiko can leave. Someone steps in up until Marty Freeman joins the band, basically. A slight little guess uh, from Ole England the Swede. Maybe, maybe not. I actually really hope I'm wrong about this because I love Kiko and I love what Kiko has been doing with Megadeth. And even though... You know, it will be cool for Marty to be back in the band. I think a lot of Megadeth fans will want Marty to be the... If there's going to be a new guitar player, it has to be Marty, in my opinion. And I think a lot of uh, Megadeth fans agree with me. Can't they just do a, like a three guitar thing? Where there are three guitarists? You know, you have the, the OG Dave. You have, you know, what back in the day was the kid, Marty Freeman. And then you have, you know, the modern guitar player in there. It's just like the perfect mix. Can we all just get along? I really hope I'm wrong about this, and I really hope that Kiko will go back after, you know, all of this uh, has been sorted and all that. Anyways, holy shit. Let's, let's move on. That was heavy. Something that is a lot heavier is the new Epiphone Greeny guitar of Kirk Hammett. Because, you know, Gibson Les Pauls, they're usually very heavy. So, <laughs> it's heavier. No? Okay. The most anticipated Epiphone model in its history hails the arrival of a new era of inspired by Gibson custom shop models. So now they finally... Dude, like it's like clockwork. Every time. You know, you start with the Gibson custom shop, it's insanely expensive, it costs like $20,000, and then you release the Gibson regular USA, which is uh, $3,000, and now here comes the Epiphone model for how much? 1500 bucks. Not too bad. The most expensive Epiphone Les Paul ever and ties with Damon State's Prophecy Flying V figure as the most expensive Epiphone to be made in China. So made in China. Okay. So what are you getting for 1500 Uh Much of that money has gone to the components. Okay. So specs, I imagine. Gibson USA Greeny Bucker Humbuckers, which cost $299 as a standalone, so they're using USA pickups in this Epiphone, okay. Then there are CTS pots and Mallory as opposed to orange drop capacitors with 50s wiring. So, okay, a little bit more, uh, you know... <laughs> uh. The tone woods are quite traditional, if not entirely faithful to the Gibson USA Greeny. As such, you got a mahogany body with a maple top and flame maple veneer instead of a flame maple top. Okay, gotcha. So, difference between USA and the Epiphone, it's a veneer on the Epiphone. Lift and style brown hard shell case, pink plush interior. Oh, even Guitar World is saying, so yes, the price is pretty crazy as Chinese made Epiphones go. But this is 2023, and as ever with modern day Gibson, seems to be designed to ride that line between just as re about reasonable and painfully premium. There it is, in the arms of Kirky McHammett. And, uh, yeah. I mean, the Greeny is kind of like an iconic guitar, so I understand this. It's, a, you know, it's pretty lackluster when it comes to the Epiphone version, to be honest. No? Am I, am I wrong about this? I checked on Tolman, and it sold out. So, uh, I, I was thinking of getting one, but uh, they made it easy for me, it sold out. So, good on Kirk Hammett. There it is, right there. Uh, yeah. In my opinion, a little bit lackluster. Okay? And you know what, guys? That was basically it for the news, right there. 
The news has been so fucking shitty lately. I kid you not. But don't be alarmed. I have a couple of extra things that I thought of that might be interesting to you guys. First of them is going to be a plug for a more of an underground band. You probably already seen like album tips of the week in this Sunday with Ola. I was thinking of making a segment of underground band of the week. Wouldn't that be cool? So, you know, I plug an underground band that I think is cool uh, every now and then in Sunday with Ola when there's shitty news. How about that? And today's band is called Blood Command. Check these guys out. These guys are from Norway and before you judge the style, it's a little bit new metal. It has a little bit rap. You know, look at the guys right there. You have Adidas, obviously. It's pretty fing slamming, I must say. Here we go. Listen to the bass, man. That's a sound sound for sure. You know, this is... I usually don't listen to music like this. But, you know, I'm really into this. I'm digging this song a lot. Let's see. They have five albums. The latest one called World Domination out 2023. Adidas tracksuit. You sit. Fucking squatting. Hello. That's what you do with an Adidas tracksuit. So I've heard, at least, you know. So go check them out. Blood Command. Incredible band. Uh, oh, oh, that, oh, wait, oh, we have another segment. Oh, 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 game of the week. Oh, new segment. <laughs> no, but uh, since we don't have any news today, I figured I would also push a game that I've been playing recently. I'm going to try and make this as short as possible because I know you guys uh, are not all into gaming and all that. But I can recommend you this game because, you know, if you're a fan of Swedish Word of the Day, for instance, learning Swedish words and, you know, sw uh, think learning Sweden. Yes, exactly. If you want to learn about Sweden, there's a really cool fucking game out there called Bramble. Uh, and it's it's a Swedish a Swedish made game basically about uh, a young character, a boy called Ulle, which is Ulle, the name Ulle, Ulla and Ulle. Very similar. It comes uh, from the same. Uh, yes, uh, it has the same origins. It's basically a game showcasing uh, old Swedish and Scandinavian or Nordic lores. And it does it so well. If you're a fan of games like Limbo and Inside or Little Nightmares, for instance. Uh, all Scandinavian games, by the way. If you're a fan of that, dude, this game is gorgeous. It's so dark. It's grim as f And you get all that crazy Nordic lore that I'm such a big fan of, you know. So in general, the game is about Ulle, uh, a little boy that's searching for his sister Lillemor. Uh, in the forests of Sweden. And it's enchanting, I would say. Holy shit. I'm s I am love indie games like this, man. They're just so much better than the current other games that are available. This game is available on Xbox Game Pass, but I don't think it's that much if you want to buy it on a PlayStation or something like that. So there you go. That's Bramble for you right there. And it's filled with Dem Blons to Tino Comer, which is a, a great song that we sing when uh, the kids are graduating and we're uh, celebrating the summer or the the arriving of summer. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Check out Bramble. It's really good. And then, my friends, what's the news? Something incredible happened. The vinyls arrived. The call for celebration. No, we're actually gathering up all the people at the office to go collect the vinyls. Or the vinyl. You say vinyl. Sorry. Ja, vinylen har kommit, Pixie. Alla är jätteglada. Holy shit, finally here. It felt like it, they would never arrive, to be honest. It's the Chug Project Volume 2 on vinyl, finally. So, here we go. 
And then finally we're gonna be able to ship this out to people that I've been waiting for. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. There it is. Already had the test press of this, and I know it's all gonna be fine, but I haven't seen the finished finished product yet. So we've been waiting for the vinyls for maybe five weeks or something like that. I mean, the release of Chug Project Volume 2 was like one month ago. We were promised uh, to get the vinyls well before the release of the album, but at this point, I just don't have any expectations when it comes to vinyl, man. It's like, ugh, they're always delayed for some reason. Anyways, take a look at that. It's shrink wrapped. So I'm gonna open up this. Dude, that looks so fucking great. Holy shit. That looks so good. Backside right there. Ooh, black sleeve. Check that out. And then we have the vinyl. Look at that! Holy shit! So the vinyl itself has this ashen look to it. All of them are custom, so no one of them will look the same. So they're all custom in that sense. Look at that. That looks so fucking good. Obviously, we have to put it on. Hey, Wanda, you look at me. Look at this, we have... Yo, exact! Completely agree, Pixie. How do I do this? It's gonna spin. Uh, I can't see shit, there's a dog in the way. I can't see. But do me a wagon on that! Do me a wagon! Oops. Dude, I'm so relieved to finally have the album here. I know a lot of people have been waiting, and we can finally start shipping out, like, ultimate editions of the... of the Chug Project Volume 2. So... Guys, thank you so much for the patience. Why you heard that? I know, I can't figure it out. There is no music. I can't figure this out. Technology, man, why is it so complicated? I don't understand. What are you doing? Christmas is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 excitement, excitement. It's working. It's finally here, baby. Fuck yeah, man. Dude. It turned out so well, too. I'm so extremely happy about this. I kind of almost lost hope that it would never arrive. But it's finally here. We can finally start shipping out all the orders that included on vinyl. I just want to say again, thank you so much, guys, for all the patience. Now, Luis and everyone out there, we're all going to pack until there's no tomorrow now. And if you haven't ordered your vinyl yet, you can still do so. I'll tag it right here in the video. Get it, okay? Thank you so much for the support, guys. Yeah. Hey, Hunden. Hey, buddy. All right, it's late. Late office hours. Luis is sitting here <laughs> working the orders. And, uh, or as, you know, as many as we've had time for today. And, uh, how many more do we have? A lot. A lot. This pile there. <laughs> this pile. Oh, oh shit, we have this too. Yeah, and all these t-shirts that need to go out. So, uh, yeah, there's still a lot. But Luis is a champ, and tomorrow we get more help to pack more, I guess. Right? Yes. So, uh, we just continue, man. And the dog is always helping. Hello. And here it is! It's finally here, man! Look at this. I'm just gonna quickly show this little thing. Check this out. That ashen look right there is different on all the vinyls. So they're all handmade and very, very custom. 
And uh, I hear them right now that people are just outside the door packing all the orders. And uh, if you're waiting for yours, it's coming soon. So thank you so much for the support. If you still want to get the vinyl, we have many available. You can get one from oldenglandshop.com. Buy it for someone for Christmas, maybe. Huh? All right, so a couple of weeks back, I had John Bjork, my guitar teacher, over for a little session. I was asking him about how to kind of lift myself out of uh, the autumn rut, you know, where you basically don't practice guitar or anything like that. Well, John had a great idea. What if we make like a, a weekly Ola Learn segment on Sunday with Ola, which is basically me learning something, a lick or something like that, and then uh, you guys can learn it as well. And we keep it short, okay? And, you know, John will provide tabs so you guys can practice the same thing as well. And if you like this, this could be a thing. This could continue on. So, I have a video from John. Let's check it out. Hey, John here. This is Sweeping Lick in E minor, and it sounds way harder than it is. It's only two shapes and a fairly easy picking pattern. So just take your time with it, and you'll get it down. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, all right, so what you want to think about here is all right. that even though I need to work on this. Know, now the picking pattern is also very simple in the sense that it repeats. So we're just gonna start here and we're gonna go down, hammer, down, 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 up, pull off. Then you shift up to the next position. And that's all right, so he, uh, first lesson, is a sweeping lesson. And, uh, you know, I'm not really good at uh, sweeping, so this is probably gonna be really good for me. Okay, let me try it. I think he said upstroke. Okay. Something like that. So uh, I think the key right here is just making sure your uh, your sweep picking is working the same way that's John that's doing. Uh, let's do it slow. Holy shit, okay, I, this is not easy for me. I mean, I can do sweeping slow. It's just that I can't get the technique to, uh, to do it fast. Stuff like that. But, you know, I, I'm not gonna cheat myself. I'm gonna do this slow. You guys do it as well. If you want the tab, click the link in the description of this video. You can get the tab and you and I practice this, okay? And then the next time I do this segment, I'll show you the progress I made from practicing this. How about that? And then we can practice together. I think this is a great idea. Thank you so much to John for making this happen. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click here, okay? Awesome! Oh shit, that really went far. Ha! Check this out. This is the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3 right here. Creator combo. You know, even though most of my things that I do on YouTube is, you know, in a spot like this, in the office. You know, it's very stationary, but sometimes I'm out there doing vlogs and shit. And, you know, on the fly, recording some fast shit. Uh, most of my vlogs have been recorded on, like, GoPros or iPhones. And in my opinion, I feel like the iPhone is just too fucking good right now. Uh, the iPhone takes you anywhere, the sound is great, the video is great, and you always have it in your pocket. So it's really tough right now to compete in the vlogging aspect with a phone that you have in your pocket already. It's already in your pocket, you know? But there are some times where I feel like, okay, you know, I'm filming with my phone, but I want to do something on my phone as well, you know, at the same time to check some bullshit or whatever. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just really nice to have a dedicated camera. Like the GoPro, it's easy to have in your pocket. If you need it, you take it out, you click on it, and it starts recording. This is the first time I'm venturing into DJI Osmo. 
uh, pocket camera. So we, this is my first one, but they have existed for some time. And uh, I saw a bunch of reviews of this and I figured like, okay, I want to be in on this bag one. At least try it out, you know? I have a lot of other DJI things. I have like a DJI drone and also this mobile thing that uh, this uh, iPhone is mounted to right now, which is a gimbal, is also DJI. Okay, let's let's take a look. Okay, Assess accessories and shit. This is like a creator packet, so I think it has more... That was empty. Was that supposed to be empty? Am I missing something with this? So this is a protective cover for the camera. Okay, so here we go. A little nice pouch right there that looks like this. Very cool. Open it up. All right. That's the camera right there. And as you can see, it doesn't look like a GoPro. What the hell is this? Well, the cool thing about this is that this is basically a full-on gimbal camera. So the camera is right here, as you can see. But the rest of the thing is a battery and a gimbal. So for steady shots, it's going to be really good. Ooh, did you see that? Okay, I need... Oh. See, right now I need to download like a app for the iPhone. And the iPhone is filming right now. So I can't do that. I will uh, skip. Wipe from left to... Left edge to center, playback. Okay. Oh, oh shit, okay. Calm down. When I'm able, the camera will automatically follow the face closer to the center of the camera. Start. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, well it... It's not following my face right now. Still not following my face. <laughs> okay, you know, maybe I just have a very unfortunate face and it's not following it. <laughs> but look at that. I think that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go out and test this a little bit, okay? Hey. Oh, cool. The gimbal. Luis preparing orders. It's a lot of work. Thank you so much for the support, you guys. Makes her work hard, you know? So this is working pretty good. Testing out a new thing. Look at that. You might need to Shit, man. Dude, it's actually working really well. It, the only thing that I, you know, can't really judge right now is just how is the picture quality of this when, uh, you know, I can't see it on this small little screen right there. Just gonna try this real quick. Camera itself, it feels really smooth. Let's go into uh, my room and see how it handles low light. Because I don't have any lights on in this room. Let's check this out. Dude, look at that. Dude, what? Look at that tilt. Oh shit, I'm getting... Oh, it's spinning. Oh, I hate merry-go-rounds, by the way. They suck ass. But dude, this is a pleasant surprise right here. Check this out. Ooh, what? Oh, that's nice. Hey, Honden. Hey, Honden, what are you doing? Hey, Honden, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm testing that new again, yo. Look at what's going on. Look at what's going on. Look at what's going on. Hey, boy. Let me do it for you. Let's check out some of the other things that came in this thing. This is the creator packet, so you're supposed to get a couple of different things with it, including uh wireless microphone yes so this is a wireless microphone that you put on yourself and uh you basically have a really good microphone on you uh, i'm gonna test that later i think this is an extra battery oh that clicked on yeah 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 so it's an extra uh, battery handle look at that so you have a handle that uh, serves as an extra battery that's pretty fucking cool and then we have a small little tripod thing Look at that. So you have this little thing, and you're good to go. Connect and use for audio input, 60% battery level. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna put that right here. And then, my penis. My penis is long. I wanna do one last little thing, okay? Calm your tits. Let's see if this thing can follow me <laughs> oh look at that so i'm walking over here and i'm like oh oh my life sucks but then i go over here and i'm like huh it's actually quite good and then i go back to the dime amplifier and i'm like 
Hey! Holy shit! It's actually working pretty good. I can basically narrate my life while the camera's doing all the work for me. Dude. Isn't this amazing? Oh. Ha. Yeah! Dude, that's actually sick. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you lost me. Yeah, so there you go. That's my little test of the DJI Osmo 3 right there. Pocket, holy shit. And here it is, man. Look at that. Dude, it looks so cool and it's so small too. Well, it's actually not that small right now when I have the extension on like this. But you can make it small if you want. Look at that. Oh, so cute. You know? So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this, so far at least. But there, then I'm probably gonna get annoyed by something about it soon. And then I have to find another, you know, vlogging camera. But so far, so good, man. I really like this. All right, my friends, thank you so much. That was it for Sunday with Ola 164 right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, Christmas is coming. You can get a gift card from oldenglishshop.com. Also, the last chance for Solar Guitars Black Sabbath sale uh, today and tomorrow. Hope you have an insane... Sunday, I'll see you soon, okay? Goodbye. Okay, now I'm just doing uh, trying to speed. So yeah, uh, let me practice that. <laughs>